What's up everybody? I'm Jason Mayfield and today we're going to look at the Wide Margin Reference Bible in Top Grain Leather from Crossway. So first off, let me just give you the highlight on this thing. This is the big picture here and that is that this is not a premium Bible, but it is on the way to it. So if you have a Bible that's maybe genuine leather or uh, it's a true tone or some kind of fake leather or something, you got, a, you got a cheaper Bible, but you're wanting to start making your way over to a premium Bible, this would be a good step in that direction. Also, if you were wanting to use a wide margin for a preaching Bible or something that's going to get a lot of use and be a, a, a real utility, I think this would probably be better than the heirloom because of the thickness of the paper, the cover's gonna, you just beat the heck out of it. This is not, this is not a premium. It is on its way to a premium. So, let's take it out and I'll share some information with you. All right. So, a couple of features here. Two ribbon markers. Top grain leather cover. The inside is gonna be the same as uh, like a true tone or a cheaper version of this Bible. You do have red letter text. That is one of the only strikes against it I'll give it. I do not like red letter text anymore. I used to be okay with it, but now it just feels like what a waste of, you know, red ink. Because it, it, it interferes with my notes personally. Concordance. I mean, overall, this is going to be the same thing as any wide margin that you get in this series. Uh, which is going to be your, your crossway wide margin. The big, I guess this would kind of be the big alternative to the, the Cambridge. Now, I will tell you this. I do prefer the Cambridge wide margin to this Bible, but I think this is a great Bible. You guys know Brock Childers, who uh, is with For the King Leather Co., made this scripture journal cover for me. Uh, he uses the crossway wide margin, and uh, he, he really likes it. He actually uses a true tone, as a um, as a, uh, a, a like a workbook style, and then he has an heirloom, and this one would be right in the middle. But uh, so the heirloom gets kind of his finished stuff, where the true tone he's kind of tearing through uh, and making notes and just going to town on it. So that would be one way you could use these. But I think this is a good meet in the middle. This is a fantastic Bible. Um, so the big question is: is what the heck is top grain leather? That was my question. I'm like, what is it? Um, I, it, it? Probably the most important feature about it is that it still comes with ridges. Ridges for the win. Okay, top grain leather. Got some stuff written here. Let me just read it to you real quick. The leather hide has not been sanded, buffed, or snuffed to remove natural imperfections. The, re the result is both supple and durable. Um, it also, it, it does lay flat. So you're not going to get that resistance from it. It is, it is pretty good and, and flat there. Um, edge line binding, whatever that means. It's backed by a lifetime guarantee. That's a, that's a, a, a good deal. So, I mean, other than the feel of it, this is very similar in make to any of my goat skin covers. Uh, it's obviously not as nice, but this would be a very easy to love Bible. Um, actually sending this out to a friend of mine when I get done reviewing it here in a minute to uh, my friend Josh Parker. So shout out Josh Parker. Um, let me see here. I've got the True Tone version of this. You'll see they are practically the I you know the same thickness. That's because the the guts of this thing are the same. It looks like the um. Binding on the block might be a little different, or maybe they just use different color stitching. That might be it. It might that might not actually be different. Um, but you're gonna see it's the exact same thing. I mean, they're they're just gonna be similar. So even the the gilding on it is pretty close, if not the exact same thing. Yeah, it looks like the exact same thing. So. At least it does to me. Now, I could be giving you wrong information, but this is my observation on it. Again, two ribbon markers. I think, I think the standard in this stuff ought to be three, but that's just, that's just me. That's not 
a knock on it. So I think it'd be better than the heirloom for writing. It's not an all-out premium, but it's definitely a step above. It is a more minimal inside than the Cambridge is, uh, which of course, you know, I'm not comparing it to the Cambridge right now, but it is a more minimal inside. Uh, it does have red letter. I don't like the red letter. You know, if uh, if they got to do cross references, I like the way they do it, putting it down here, but I would prefer just having footnotes. I don't need any cross references. I feel that way with all Bibles. I don't need any cross references. So if it comes down to this or a true tone, I'm going to pick the true tone. And this... Hey, I misspoke right there. I meant to say if it comes down to between this or true tone, I'm going to pick this. Uh, just talking fast and said the wrong thing. That happens sometimes, guys. That happens sometimes. Well, pardon me, Mr. Perfect! This is just not a super expensive Bible. Uh, it, it costs more than uh, a cheaper Bible, but not as much as an expensive Bible. So anyway, I'll put a link to this in the description below. I highly recommend it. I would recommend picking up one of these uh, if you're looking to get into a wide margin and you want to be able to write um, start making those notes. This is, and, and you want something that's nicer than a cheap Bible, I think this would be a great solution for you. Um, so that is all I have to say about this. I give this a thumbs up. Wide margin, top grain leather, and also bonus, just any top grain leather that they mention, I can kind of give that the sign off now. It's not goat skin, it's not calf skin, but it is nice. And um, in, I, I just had never messed with one before. So that was a big question I had, was what is top grain leather? So I'd give the top grain leather a sign off for sure. It's gonna be super duper durable. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. So I have a link to this in the description. And uh, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, click that bell so you get notified anytime that I post a new video. And until next time, uh, I'm praying that you continue to experience grace for life through Jesus Christ. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.